Hello Polygoners! We are going to be doing something a little bit different over the next little bit. If you like this uh, kind of Shaft Plays Let's Play Civilization 6 type thing, let me know in the comments below. I can do some more of these. I probably will finish out this series, but uh, reason for this is I'm working on some like PDFs and stuff like that um, for team leagues and events and tournaments and all those things. So, my ability to play StarCraft at a reasonable level just isn't there anymore. Um, just I haven't had the time to get the, the, the rust off and do all those things. I can still, you know, teach or whatever. But I want to do something a little different. Take some advantage of this downtime to try something new on the channel. Hopefully you guys uh, like this. Anyways, I'm playing a Saladin Civilization VI. I've got a couple of mods on. Let's see what they are. Got the Australia, Aztec, and Poland Civ packs, Vikings content, Historicity, just because I, I mean, I like history, so that's not really going to impact the game. Improved water yields, because uh, let's face it, Civ 6 water, harbor, all that stuff. Really, really bad mechanically. This um, hopefully helps fix that. Unit rebalance makes it so that cavalry units aren't so good. I'm playing Saladin, so I do have a cavalry unit. Um, basically, like, of like two two units of the same era um one that's anti-cav one that's cav they'll stalemate each other it really shouldn't work like that this is an attempt to rebalance that and then of course we're playing on true start locations so those those are the mods i usually use a ui mod in a production queue but they're broken as fuck right now so we'll uh we'll just go with this as is Alright, so Cairo, this is definitely going to be a food-heavy um, city. I have a little production right here. Probably Carthage here, Zanzibar here, Kumasa or something like that there. Um, true start location maps are pretty predictable. That's what makes the early game so awesome. But, uh, yeah, yeah. now the question is, do I want to go for a scout or do I want to go for a slinger? Well, Scout's going to let me scout everything out, but I kind of know. We already know Sumer is right here. Um, but I would really like this tile here. Well, I need two population to get a Settler, so... Let's do a Slinger, a Settler, a Scout. Oh man, I don't have a production key. Ah, that's gonna that's gonna annoy me. All right, so we want to go for early religion. I know our last profit ability makes it so we don't not get a religion, but I like to get an earlier pantheon for better selection. We're also gonna need pottery, but we'll go for for astrology first here. Hello, kitty. My cat just like busted open the door and then ran away. All right, so we'll just leave the warrior here. And that'll give me some vision up here to keep barbarians away. But more importantly, it's going to stop this guy from expanding where I want my, my city. Yeah, I've got one of those uh, 420 memories. What that means is uh, I remember things for 20 seconds. So I use these pens quite a lot uh, just to help me keep things where I can remember them. Uh... This is pretty much going to be a population city, which is going to allow... Oh, shit. Sh I typed that in wrong. Yeah, there's not really a lot you can do with a city like this, except throw a couple of wonders or something in there. Culture, science, faith. It'll be a good hub. Just nothing I can really produce military units out of. Yeah, here's Carthage. So I'll probably want to make friends with them really early on and just power out units. Like settlers, builders, army. They'll help with all of that. So I've got one there already. Um. All right, cool. I don't want the monument right now. There's a slinger. We're already at population three. We can go for a settler, or we can use a builder to make this better. But honestly, we'll just get food right now. And I could go, I'd have to research mining to go unlock these. So I think we're just going to go straight for a settler. And we'll just run right along the Red Sea and see if there's anything over here. I think 
Well, I've only got a limited number of city-states on. I don't know where they would spawn, but Zanzibar could be here. If so, they're a really valuable trading partner. Alright, so we'll circle back around. The Nile should continue like this. Um, so we'll just trace it along till it terminates and circle back up. We're definitely going to want foreign trade. I want to immediately start trading with Carthage. I'll probably get a quest for for a trade route there eventually. Now the question is, do we want mining or pottery first? Pottery is nice, but with all this food, I just don't see it being that useful. We'll go straight for mining. We just, we've almost got too much food, to be honest with you, because it means entertainment's going to grow, like we're going to need more amenities really fast, we're going to need more housing really fast, and otherwise it's going to slow itself down, so it's kind of self-neutering. I uh, just don't think that's what the setup we're going for right now. Alright, is this still on a hill? Not to planes. Alright, so we'll just drop the slinger right here, hang out. We got this guarded, we got this guarded. This might be an issue, and this might be an issue. Alright, so the Slinger has seen a scout. We'll just come over here, start knocking it down. And we'll keep the Slinger kind of tied to the cattle. That'll give us a location to, well, number one, make us feel like, you know, David versus Goliath, like he's protecting his flock type thing. But two, just a place on the map like that provides decent vision and easy place to landmark. Yep, see. Alright, so there's mining. We could go straight bronze working, but I don't see that being actually all that useful. Although, having access to iron could be useful. Might be useful. Is it more useful than pottery? We don't really need the granaries. We don't need the housing. We need entertainment. Oh, fuck it. What the hell not? Basically, my overall strategy this game is to build a fairly expansive empire and then go for, like, either a cultural... Well, most likely a science victory, though. Uh, let's go ahead and kill the scout. It's easier for him to run away. Reason I'm kind of favoring a science victory. Oh, I mean, it, it's, it's Arabia, right? <laughs> um, the Madrasa gives you bonus faith, culture, and science. Uh, but everything seems to be kind of geared more towards the sciences. But we'll see how it goes. If I can, um, like, there's, like, there's actually 20 total players on this map. 21, actually. I added 20 enemies plus 12 city-states. So, like, the idea of a domination victory just doesn't seem possible, especially since it's, a true, it's like a true Earth mark map. Um, so, what that kind of... That, that pretty much eliminates domination victory. So, science is really the next best way to go. Um... Early Empire, open borders. Actually, I'm kind of leaning towards mysticism because it rewards an envoy. So we'll go mysticism, and then we do kind of need the entertainment complex, but we also need this. Um, mm. this will be more envoys. This is going to take a while, though. So, yeah, we'll go here. Reason for this, uh, we can unlock this immediately. It's going to take a while to actually build the entertainment complex and then build. Um, so that's going to take a while to implement, and we don't have the most hammers. This is all straight, you know, culture based. So we'll, that, I think that's the way to go. Hey, there's Zanzibar. Sweet. All right, so we're down to three turns for our settler. <laughs> you go, Carthage. Take out that barbarian. All right, we'll finish him off for you, Carthage. 
Ooh, spearman. I'm scared. Well, hey, if I kill one more barbarian, I'll be halfway to bronze working. That could be useful. Of course, just lost that much health. We're probably... We're probably going to want to go on the retreat here. Hmm. Yeah, yeah that, that seems like the healthy course. But as soon as um I get this this other city locked in, I'll probably bring this warrior back. Ow. Ow. Alright. Get you up here. Get you there. Get you the hell out of here. Sorry about that. It looks like OBS crashed. Thank God I uh, record an FLV. We are back up and running. Let's keep it going. We definitely want that holy site sooner rather than later. We're gaining some gold. So rather than taking up either of these spots, boom, right here. Good to go. Let's keep it going. And yeah, I don't think we'll be able to found a pantheon just yet. Ooh. I have spearmen on each side of me. It looks like I can stay like one step out of them, maybe. This might actually get tricky. This mountain could play disadvantageously. Ooh, yes, the spear moment. Eh, eh. That's the out I needed. Alright, settle her down. And that's exactly what we needed. Alright, so we're gonna bring this warrior over here. And. Do we want another holy site? Well, we're not really trying to do a religious victory per se. But we can buy units later on with it. I, I don't think it's going to be that useful for us. I think just having it in Cairo is good. This is more of a cash trade place. There's nowhere around here to mine either. These horses will help though. Um could go ahead and start trading, but I don't feel like I have the units to do that. Nor do I think a builder is necessary at present. I don't have a scout, though. I still don't have a scout. Um, actually, let's do another warrior, and then we'll get a scout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the way to go. Yeah, yeah, I settled too close. I uh, won't. Well, I will look in the future elsewhere. I don't really want any more land up here. I just wanted this position and then North Africa. Alright, so... Yeah, I can go straight to the capital and hang out there. Cool. actually going to go ahead and take on this sword or it's actually a spearman sorry spearman on warrior this is actually fairly good for for the warriors believe it or not the spearman not so good at the melee combat which is kind of weird because like greek hoplites back in the day were like the shit so you you gotta wonder like why these spearmen aren't so good at fighting but i guess it's a balancing issue all right we got no defense up here we'll just move this slinger in position in case this Scout wants to come back down. Alright, we got bronze working. Now, um... I think archery is actually... Yeah, something we're gonna want. We definitely want animal husbandry too. Um... I don't know if we're gonna need currency. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna want that. Yeah, we'll go straight for currency, and then Mamluks should be yeah, right in here. We might need something in between then. I don't know. I'm not going to set that just yet. But we've got a little queue going. And we'll go ahead and kill off that barbarian camp. Crossing the river is going to make it so that... Yeah, we'll just... um. We'll just fortify here and see what see what this this scout wants to do. Because this scout's actually going back 
to this camp, I think, or maybe there's one over here. So it might be zoned out right now. Um, commandos can scale cliff walls. I'm not going to really be attacking from a sea or water. All right, we're definitely going to want the the combat against anti-cavalry. So that's what we'll we'll take that. All right, an unmet player has been defeated already. So I guess we're down to like 19 players now. All right, so I like fortifying till healed. But I think it'd be better to just go ahead and reveal the parts of the map that I don't want barbarians at. And if he crosses, I'll get a free shot on him, so no matter what, he's kind of in a bad spot now. Ooh, looks like Zanzibar is attacking the Spearman and gets the kill. Alright, so I do want the scout for myself. Yeah, here's that scout. Free shot there. Looks like these scouts are going to get away. Sad face. Alright, choose Pantheon. This is what we were gaming for. City growth rate is 10% higher. We might need that with the amenities and housing shortages. Border expansion might also be useful. Um, these aren't going to be that big a deal. We don't need food. This sucks for us. Um... I don't see us having that many pastures. Yeah, I think um, I think fertility rights is it. Now we could you well no we can't even slot that in yet. Okay, so center envoy. We really we really want to impress Carthage. We're gonna need that early game production bonus. Um. What do they do as a suzerain? Um, encampments provide an extra trade route. That actually could be really useful. Ooh. But this means more amenities. And that's the big thing holding us back right now. Because we can always use farms to get housing. So, yeah. Actually, I think... Yeah, and we're going to get one for the holy site. Yeah, yeah, So... Yeah, that's the way to go right here. Okay, cool. I'm glad to get that figured out. Um, probably going to want this position somewhere along this trade route. One got Stonehenge. Alright, looks like we're back in the scout into a corner. I don't know if one of these city-states might kill it first. Doesn't look like he even wants to. Alright, so, my kill. Alright, so we'll just try and zone him. Yeah, getting the archer is going to make this whole chasing thing a lot less ridiculous. Alright, I think we can probably do a trader now. I think we'll be fine to do that. Alright, looks like Sumer just helped us out a little bit there, and the barbarians are going to kill themselves off on ourselves. Save me the trouble. Cool. We'll just bring you back into that city. And yeah, Zanzibar is kind of far away, so this is where we want the first one to go. We'll kind of connect a road here, and then connect a road here, and then connect a road here. Ultimately, I want any uh, 
Any trade from the Mediterranean passing through here? Oh shit, I think I messed up. I got a little greedy and he can probably take advantage of that. Okay, so Sumer is going to get the scout kill. That was scary. Yeah, I knew it. Alright, that wasn't good. That was really not good. But you know what? I'll survive. What we'll do is just bring this guy to bear. Um, we won't worry so much about the southern strategy down here. Yeah, I think what we're going to need to do is have a few archers positioned. So this southern tip of Arabia is probably eaten up with barbarians and will be for a while. Decessive right? victory. Ooh, I just became a suzerain, I suppose. Yeah, because my holy site district just finished. Um, I'm already getting quite a bit of faith per turn. Do I really need the shrine right now? Because I've got the amenities. I think what I need is the archer. Actually, no. Let's throw in a warrior first. Alright, we'll put this archer up front. Oh, that'll give me a retreat path here, and... Yeah, you're just gonna chill there. Cool. Good man, right? Now both of these barbarians are gonna have a damaged, um, so they aren't gonna do as much damage when they attack. <laughs> Typical flanking maneuver there. Not sure if it's still effective in this game, but it's nice that they pay attention to it. All right, we definitely need to jump back here and then go and kill that guy off. She is the king of Greater Poland. That is that's interesting. How does Poland make it to Egypt in 1840 BC? Really interested in showing my capital. Not just yet. And since we're about to start trading, I think this is going to be the right way to go. Alright, so... Still definitely don't want a shrine. I think an archer is going to be the way to go here. Alright, we got a warrior here. An archer here, but she kind of needs a little... A little melee unit there, so we'll go with that, and then we'll send this archer down here. Maybe give her a warrior too. I don't know why, but in my head, archers are always female. I guess it's like the modern day mythos of like the fantasy genre. Alright, so let's go ahead and clear out the Barbarian Scout. Now we have another one here. We kind of got some all over the place. First, let's go here and then go there. So I don't think it'll let me in there. I think he's got a solid border. So unless I'm willing to declare war, that ain't fitting to happen. Why is Poland running around in Sumeria? Kill off the barbarians! Aw oh, man. How do I keep losing warriors? Oh well, at least it's 
going to power up this uh, archer. I think just rolling with the archer is going to be the way to go and a scout. So this one's definitely going to want some housing. Granary is going to take 16 turns building this. Builder's going to take 12. I can throw a farm here. I think the granary is our best bet. Alright, so let's choose research now. We're still getting decent gold. Culture's fine. Science is fine. Um... Probably wouldn't hurt to start researching fishing boats, but I don't really want to dedicate that much production to them just yet. Um, the wheel might be nice. Those chariots are super useful. Yeah, we're gonna go for wheel. And then, yeah, the wheel and then the stirrups. Alright, cool. Poor archer. No! Actually, my archer survived. How the hell did that happen? Retreat! Wow, that was actually close. We've got 446 gold though. So... Archers are 200. Warriors are 160. We do kind of need warriors. With all this horseman shenaniganry, let's just get a couple more archers. Alright, cool. Bring this on down. I'm gonna definitely need some hammers. I wonder if there's anything hiding in here. It's like, we got these diamonds. This is all jungle territory in here. So you'd think there'd be something. An encampment wouldn't be a bad idea, neither would a commercial hub. Um, this is culture, science, faith. We got that. We'll need this. And of course, the madrasa ends up helping. The campus. This will have to be a production center. Alright, so, builder. Builder. We want to start getting this iron even if we're not using it I th think the uh, the bonuses are too good to ignore damn they want to kill off this city bad oh my god for a second I thought they'd killed my archer I don't even know if that's possible but I was terrified of it I almost feel like I should like retreat back and grab another archer yeah boom Alright, and then bring you a little deeper into the jungle. Welcome to the jungle, y'all. Yeah, we'll just have like this area kind of nearest me scouted out. And that'll keep at least some distance from the barbarians in like my cities. Barbarians actually only spawn in the fog of war. Iron, plantation, plantation, fish, maybe a city like in here somewhere? Thing is, it's all jungle. Um, actually, what if I placed it like here? So all of this is, this actually could be a pretty good place. Right. So we got ivory here, ivory here, ivory here, sheep here. I think if we drop it here, we've got all this river, we've got this, this, this. Yeah, this is it right here. Alright, 
we got the vision locked down now. I'm gonna use these as like my three pivot cities for a while. Eventually, I might want this area, depending on how much jungles there, but I'm definitely going to want to start taking over the northern part of Africa. Really, the goal being to kind of take over Mali, get the gold, and get the uh, the production from the, that area. But this is going to call it for today. Thank you so much for joining in. You know what the plan is for next time, so I'll see you next time. Shout out my dudes. If you want to be notified when we release videos like this, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you don't know where that is, I'm not going to teach you how to use the internet. There's probably no hope for you.